Hello, Doherty Dolphins. This is Miss Annie, and I'm super excited to go over the next art lesson. If you remember my first lesson about superheroes, well, I'm adding to my list. You are also my hero because you've had to deal with so many changes and challenges of school and home life during a pandemic, and that hasn't been easy, so you are all tough tough as rocks. So this lesson is about rock painting and one famous contemporary artist, her name is Aki Nakata and she currently lives in Tokyo, Japan. And she's a self-taught artist who has always been collecting stones since she was a child, but she didn't start painting them until 2011. And the way that happened was because she was walking by a river in Saitama, which is near where she lives, and she saw a pebble that was in the shape of a rabbit. She started painting them from that day forward. Now she always chooses stones that look like animals, and she chooses ones that fit in her hand usually, and she always uses the natural shape of the rock. She doesn't reshape them in any way or like chip away at them, and she uses acrylic paint and brushes and she tries to paint them to look alive. And right now she has a stone art gallery in Tokyo, but she started selling them on Facebook. So when she's done painting, she'd put them on Facebook and they're so popular that people would buy them in less than two minutes and sometimes pay up to $1,500 for them. Now for your student project. I want you to paint your rock however you want because the rock design is as unique as you are. And the rock represents how tough you were this year. So here's what I did. I went hiking one weekend, brought a little Ziploc bag to collect a few rocks that I found along the way. Um, the walk by the creek has some cool rocks as well. So make sure you're taking rocks from a place you can keep them. Uh, when I got home, I washed it really, really well with soap and water. And then I collected my supplies. I chose to use acrylic paint because I happen to have some at home, but you can use anything thick, like tempera paint works really well also. And then I just started painting. Make sure you have something um, right underneath so you don't ruin your table. And I had to make sure it was dry before I painted my next layer. Like I did the fur first and then I painted the face. When I found this rock on my hike, I thought it looked like an animal. And I was thinking between a mouse and a hedgehog, but decided a hedgehog is cuter. So here's Harry the Hedgehog. Now, if you choose to also paint an animal that has fur like I did, I would say use a fan brush or a flat brush if you have them, or just a really dry, regular round brush, and then use lots of different colors to make it look like fur, so dark and light. And we will put together a Doherty rock garden, so I'll have more information on that later. Here are some other examples. If you don't have paint, you can use markers. I used Sharpies for this one, and it could be anything you want. So this cracked rock looked like a car to me, which is really cute. And if you wanted to paint, but you don't have any paint, you can actually use nail polish. So I turned this small rock into a pink ladybug. Mr. Eddie created his Doherty dolphin with markers. And Principal Scarponato made two cute sparkly fish based on one of her favorite books. So you really could do anything you want and make it as unique as you are. I can't wait to see what your painted rocks look like. 